All right, guys, let's talk flashers versus dodgers for salmon fishing. There's a buddy of mine, he always asked me, I said, are we using dodgers or are we using flashers? And I said, the best way to remember, bud, is the dodgers go side to side, flasher makes a complete loop. Now, how I select these guys has to do with a fish's activity level. Um, just like crankbaits or spinnerbaits, the amount of vibration they put off, the amount of flash they put off, the more vibration, the harder the flash, the more active the fish has to be. As they become inactive, you want to go to just that dodger, very subtle. Then all down, if it's still not biting with a dodger, sometimes you go with nothing, just the bait spinning if it's a cut plug or you know a spoon, whatever it may be. So just to give you an idea of the breakdown, what we have, this is a traditional flasher right here, hot spot flasher. I've got piles of them, use them in the ocean, use them in the river systems. You hook up your lure to the back side of this right here, leader length depends on a lot of variables, which is a whole other conversation for us. Hook your main line to the front like this, and what this thing will do is make a big, big loop, make a spinning loop. Now the basis of the flasher, guys, is to one, it creates noise as it's spinning, it creates a thump. But the other thing that it does, if you say we're using a cut plug herring, and you've got that plug cut back here spinning. Now what that spinning's doing is simulating a wounded fish. What this does, as this makes its rotation, you can see how the light's flashing off of it. As it makes that rotation, it throws out a big flash. And what, in my theory, and I believe a lot of people's theory is to that, is it looks like a salmon arcing through a school, coming through a school of bait fish. As they turn and spin, the flash of light comes off the scales, the thump coming off the body as they kick. Well, what that signals to other fish is that there's feeding taking place. Then what that one spinning on the backside means is that there's one that's wounded. So that in turn draws the attention in. Now, the problem with flashers has always been you have to troll at a high rate of speed in order to make them make the full revolution. So what we've done is not so much we, but what we've started to utilize, let's put it that way, is this guy right here. Now this is made by Pro Troll. It's still a flasher, but what it has on it is what they call an agitator fin right here. Now, I don't like to travel at a high rate of speed if I don't have to. If I can slow things down and still get the same effect, I'm going to get those bigger, lazier fish. Well, in years past, with the straight flasher, you had to roll two and a half plus miles an hour to make this guy rotate. So you were just getting the active fish. Now, with the agitator fin, same principle, what it does is this added agitator right here grabs water. It's like putting up a brake on a plane when it stops. It grabs a bunch of water and it makes it rotate. It forces it to rotate, and it rotates at a slower rate of speed, which is important. What that enables you to do is get it down, slow your speed down, and you're still getting that same action, which is gonna result in more fish, more periods of the day. Now, if you're running this guy, flasher, and the fish stop, say that the bite just stops on you, what you want to do, it's just like downsizing, guys. You can't go out, very rarely, you can go out, run the same lure all day. It just doesn't happen. Fish's moods change throughout the day. Pressures change throughout the day. Things change that make the fish change from aggressive to neutral to inactive. So say you were going good with the flashers and you were using this guy and you were going two and a half, three miles an hour, it was great. Then the bite slowed down. You wanted to still use the same flasher setup. You put this guy on here, you slowed it way down, you're doing two, 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 four now. Nice and slow, but it's still getting the same action. You're catching fish. Then all of a sudden they quit biting. That's when the dodger comes in. What the dodger does, you hook to the front here, hook your bait to the back here, and you can still use a cut plug or a spoon, whatever you want, but now it travels at this motion right here. And it will do that at a slow, slow speed, below one miles an hour. And it's just rocking back and forth, kicking light out. Still looks like something's feeding, but it doesn't have that hard thump. It's not making that big rotation. So what it is, it's a finesse form of trolling. This is a finesse attractor, if you will. Now, if this guy was to produce fish and then they quit, guys, sometimes you don't want any attractor at all. Just the straight plug cut or spoon or whatever you're using back there all by itself. So keep that in mind when you're looking at flashers and you see one with an agitator, it's just all about speed. Agitator, you can go slower than you can with non-agitator. When the bite slows down, you need to slow down, you need to downsize, you go to the dodger. You could use all three of these guys in one day and catch fish on every single setup, depending on the fish's attitude and the conditions you're in.